Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at what's new in Avada 7.14. Avada 7.14 is the 10th update for the year and brings some great new features and improvements to the builder. While we are of course still prioritizing our development work on our next major release, Avada 8, we will continue to develop the Avada 7 series right up until the release of Avada 8. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. With Avada 7.14, conditional rendering has been extended from columns and containers to all design and layout elements, pushing customization and flexibility to an entirely new level. This option is found on the Extras tab in All Elements and allows you to fine tune every visual detail of your website with precision. Be it showing or hiding specific sections, adjusting layouts, or customizing content to different user contexts. See the How to Use Conditional Rendering in Avada video for a rundown on conditional rendering. Avada 7.14 also introduces dynamic off-canvas for Avada postcards, allowing each post to open an off-canvas with dynamic content pulled in real time. You will find the Link Off-Canvas option in the postcards element, and by linking an off-canvas with dynamic content, Users can instantly view details such as title, date, excerpt, product price and other relevant information, making it ideal for quick product previews and featured content highlights. This feature is great for any time you want to display additional info that would be too big for a postcard, but you want to make sure the user stays on the same page. This approach keeps users engaged on the current page while providing all the information they need, eliminating the need for extra page loads and streamlining the browser experience. Also new in Avada 7.14 are options for automatic image format conversion as you upload, transforming all images uploaded to the WordPress media library into next generation formats like WebP or AVIF, based on your preference. You can keep your original images if you want as well. This powerful optimization happens seamlessly in the background, reducing image file sizes while preserving visual quality. The result is faster page loading, improved core web vitals, and a smoother browsing experience for visitors. There's also a tool in Maintenance System Status to convert your whole library of images to these new formats. See the Using Modern Format Images in Avada video for a full rundown on this great new feature. Avada 7.14 also comes with further enhancements to nested columns, allowing direct control of flex alignment right within the nested column element. New flex gap and max height options for columns plus expanded overflow settings in both containers and columns, gives creators even greater precision and freedom when crafting modern responsive layouts. Avada Forms is another area that has received some new features. The Avada Upload Field element has been updated with added preview options, a capture option, min and max files, and single file add and remove options. See the How to Use the Avada Upload Field Element video for a full rundown of these features. The Submit button element has also had some changes. You can now add a second or even third instance of the element to a form, changing it to be a Reset button, a Reset Form Step button for multi-step forms, or a Save Form Data button so users can come back later to a long form. Check out the How to Use the Avada Submit button element to get a rundown on these very cool new options. In Form Notifications, there is now an option to add a custom attachment to the notification, and there are now both Global and Perform options for disabling the Form View counting in Avada Forms. In other updates, a User Metadata option has been added to both Conditional Rendering and Dynamic Data options, and anywhere you find Contain as a Relational Operator for Conditional Rendering, you will now also find a Does Not Contain option. Turnstyle integration has also taken another step forward with global styling options and it can also be used with the WordPress comments form. The WooCart totals element has been improved for when displaying at narrow widths. Also with WooCommerce, you can now sort postcards by recently purchased products and the Woo sorting element now works on search results pages that only display products. Finally, the container and column background image slider has a new option to randomize the order of background images. Okay, that's the rundown on what's new with Avada 7.14.
For the full list of all new features, improvements and fixes, see the change log. And make sure to always keep Avada up to date to access all new features and improvements. Ok that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.